Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 62 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial I'm going to explain the concept behind what a slope of a line is. And so basically in this video I'm just going to explain what this word slope means. So in the next tutorial I'll start it to explain the, the math behind it. But I'm not going to do any math in this video. I just want you guys to understand some of the basic concepts of what a slope is. So basically, a slope is a way that we can kind of get some information about a line. So a slope has a few different properties to it. And so basically, the way you want to think about a slope is it describes a couple things. It describes, we'll just put an arrow here. So it describes a basically how steep the line is, the steepness of the line. And then it also describes whether or not the line increases as it goes to the right or if it decreases as it goes to the right. And the slope also can uh, define whether or not it's flat or vertical as well. So the slope is going to basically tell us how steep the line is and whether or not it increases as it goes to the right, decreases as it goes to the right, or stays perfectly flat or is straight up and down. So the slope is going to tell us all that information about a line. So if we start at this case right here, the horizontal case, so if we have some line that's just kind of going left to right, it doesn't get any higher as it goes to the right. So the, any point on the right compared to any point on the left has the same height. And so this type of line has a slope of zero. So zero is the number that represents the slope of a horizontal line. So what about a line that is lower on the left hand side than it is on the right hand side. So this type of line increases as it goes to the right. So any line that increases as it goes to the right is going to have some positive number representing its slope. So a positive slope represents a line that gets higher up, basically it increases as it goes to the right. So if we have a line that decreases as it goes to the right, something that kind of looks like this, this slope is going to be negative. So we'll have some negative number that's going to represent a line that decreases as it goes to the right. So what about a line that's straight up and down? It's vertical. So this is going to have an undefined slope. So if it's horizontal, if it's completely flat, it doesn't increase as it goes to the right, it doesn't decrease as it goes to the right, then it has a slope of zero. If our line decreases as it goes to the right, it has some sort of negative slope. And if our line increases as it goes to the right, it has a positive slope. So what type of number is gonna go here? How positive or how negative is it going to be? Well, if we have something that let's say has a slope of one, it's basically going to make a 45 degree angle off of a horizontal line. So if this is our horizontal line, this has a slope of zero right here, then this angle right here is going to be 45 degrees. And so a line like that is going to have a slope of positive one. So on the other way, if we kind of look at some sort of 45 degree angle below this horizontal line right here, so this is 45 degrees below, this is going to represent a line with a slope of negative one. So anyway, this is kind of just for you guys to kind of get some bearings about what, uh, what the value of a slope might be. So if the slope is greater than one, if it's, if it's like two or three or four, you know, the higher the number is in the positive direction, then that's gonna be a more positive slope, that's gonna be a more positive slope, and it just keeps on going. The, the steeper it gets as it increases to the right, the more positive it is. And the more it decreases as it goes to the right, the more negative it gets. So basically we get more and more negative as we get steeper and steeper going this way. We get more and more positive as we get steeper and steeper going this way. And it's because of that reason that a vertical line is undefined. Because once we get to here, we're going straight up and down, is that really negative or is that really positive? It depends on how you look at it. So that's why a vertical line has an undefined slope because the more positive you get, 
the more it starts to become like a, a vertical line, but the right-hand side is, is higher than the left-hand side. And the more negative we get, the more it becomes like a vertical line, but the right-hand side is lower than the left-hand side. So because of that, a vertical line is undefined. So anyway, I hope that explains to you guys some of the basic concepts behind what a slope of a line is. And so anyway, you guys uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial. I'll start to explain the math behind what a slope of a line is. And uh, we'll go ahead and just cover that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. You guys have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.